Um, Deshaun Watson met the media in Cleveland for the first time today. And look, this is, I mean, the, the, the a lot focused on the investigation that the Browns supposedly did into Deshaun Watson. He didn't answer a question very well about why do you have 22 massage therapists? Most guys just have one or two. Like the team sets them up with some people and that's where they go. You know, you kind of have the person that you go to and that's it. Why he's going on social media for massage therapists when you're Deshaun Watson, like none of it made sense, you know, based on what normally happens. And then the questions into the investigation on, you know, why do the Browns feel that they'd vetted him enough? Jake Trotter from ESPN asked general manager, Andrew Barry, Andrew, do you J- want to just go? I think yeah. it'd be better. Yeah. How about you play Jake Trotter and I'll play Andrew Barry. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Andrew, just to be clear, nobody from the Browns or representing the Browns spoke to any of the 22 women who made allegations, correct? Like I mentioned earlier in my opening statement, Jake, our attorneys advised us that reaching out directly could be considered interfering with a criminal investigation, but that's the reason we did hire independent investigators to make sure that we could get that comprehensive and holistic perspective. So you're saying the investigators you hired did speak to the women? I'll say the investigators that we hired were able to get a full perspective of all the cases. Not speak to them. I'm going to say a full perspective of all the cases. I'm not going to go into necessarily the details of everything the investigators did, but they got a full perspective for all the criminal and civil cases, Jake. So if they did speak to the women, what is the basis for calling your investigation extensive or, as you put in your statement on Sunday, also given the fact that some of the women haven't given sworn testimony yet, they don't have anything on the record? So again, Jake, uh, I'll refer back to my statement. The independent and unbiased investigators were able to comprehensive, or were able to be comprehensive in all the information that they were able to bring forth. Some of the information, quite honestly, I understand can't necessarily be public, but we do feel good about the work that we did. We feel good about the work that the investigators did for us. We got a comprehensive perspective of all the cases. So how there was feel, that combo. How, how do you feel about that, Craig? Uh, I think he just repeated uh, word salad over and over again, mm-hmm. basically, uh, to not answer the question. I think he answered the question by not answering the question. And uh, Jake Trotter, obviously, trying to, to, to make a point with, with his questioning. But, uh, yeah, I can see where this comes across poorly uh, for Andrew Barry. And uh, does not very it does not really clear up anything quite frankly in terms of the Browns and their investigation because again he's just speaking in generalities about this uh, extensive investigation and just because you call it extensive doesn't mean it's extensive and and I don't know that we'll really know how extensive it truly was and honestly man with this story and the back and forth I don't think the Browns really care I just yeah. don't think that they care I, I don't think that most NFL teams do if they can land the Sean Watson on their football team and it's been proven time and time again uh, pretty much every team in the league at some point or another has you know grabbed a player uh, and and you know overlooked or pushed to the side you know maybe something uh, that they're accused of and look accusations are not are not guilty uh, Mm -hmm. charges either so I'm trying to be as mindful as possible that Deshaun Watson is innocent until proven guilty no matter how many women said what they had to say you have to respect their claims of course but that doesn't also mean that he's guilty just because people are, are are accusing him of something but it is weird man I mean 22 women it's weird it's hard to get get past that but um you know I, I don't think to your to your question Andrew Barry really did much to, to clear up anything nor give anybody any sense of relief that they went above and beyond to really make sure this was you know not just a fit for their football team but also uh you know the right type of person they're bringing in I don't know that we know that yeah and and look Deshaun Watson was someone who is uh, character wise very well thought of until all this went down I as mean, good like, as anybody yeah I mean Dabo you know talked constantly about uh about Deshaun Watson and, and you got nothing but uh talk about uh, what a great leader and person and all that he was. And look, he very well, again, may still be. And, and you know, just the, the guy who's caught on the wrong end of, of some bad luck with women. I mean, again, though, it's 22 and the whole massage therapist aspect to this does make it a, a, a bit strange. But yeah, prior to this, I mean, this was, if you were to make a list of guys who you say, okay, somebody who's not really ever been in trouble or has never been in trouble, Pick a guy who would be the most unlikely dude to be named to a you know twenty two accusations sexual assault massage therapist story. 
you know, I think people would go a lot of different directions before they would have landed on Deshaun Watson. Um, you know, not so much now, obviously, but before before all this broke, yeah, I mean, he, I never would have saw this coming. I don't, I don't know how many people would have. And it, and if they, if there were people that that thought this was possible, they did a really good job of hiding it along the way, given how much exposure he received over the years. Yeah, and look, he's now two grand juries haven't indicted him. So yeah, the the, the thing about this is there's there was and. and and Rusty Harden knew this. Rusty Harden is uh, not in the position he's in by losing a lot. Well, he's a lawyer that we can name by name, and yeah. that's not normal in, yeah. in in sports to be able to just oh yeah, Rusty Harden, and, and and pretty much anybody who follows knows oh yeah, the lawyer like lawyers aren't big figures in sports. Yeah. I mean they are, but we're not supposed to know their names the way we know Rusty Harden's name. Yeah. yeah. So he yeah exactly we don't know his name because he's you know he he's losing a lot. You know? Right. So. Uh, so he had to know that that there wasn't a whole lot of evidence that that would have, um, you know, brought criminal charges about. But this is this is kind of and maybe the the kind of crux of this in the way that 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 it'll it'll move on is look the Browns kind of told you look we we did enough to satisfy our own curiosity and that's all that really matters to us. Yeah, they, yeah. I mean they they feel like they've done their due diligence and done enough work to make this happen and. They said they spent five months on it, and you know he said uh, Andrew Barry that they, it was extensive. That was clearly the buzzwords that they had settled on before his press conference, uh, because he used it so often. But uh, you know they're they're sticking to their guns. I mean they feel like they've done the work that they needed to do to feel good about bringing Deshaun Watson in. Deshaun Watson, I know, uh, spoke as well, which I'm sure you'll get to, and you know he's. He's uh, somebody who has got to feel like he's got uh, his freedom back in a way after just all of the uncertainty of the last few months. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think it just depends on, on who you ask in terms of this story. I think there's probably a lot of people who play fantasy football and really couldn't care less or really have too much empathy for other people that are just like, oh, well, they're lying, and Deshaun Watson's on my fantasy team, so go him. And then there's a lot of other people who, you know, have nothing against Deshaun Watson but hear that story and, and, and probably do wonder a bit, like, okay, well, how does that even happen? Because, you know, we see guys get blackmailed, their stars, you know, have baby mamas try to bring them down and all that. But, again, 22 women and several – massage therapists and just kind of a, a weird deal it's it, it, it makes you wonder but you know the browns uh seem to be you know confident in what they did so we we will see as far as that goes yeah uh he watson said in the press conference i know these ac ac allegations are very very serious but i've never assaulted any woman i never disrespected any woman uh, and i mean that that's a matter of perspective i mean yeah. it's clearly you did something to some of them that that they didn't feel was right and and he also says craig that he is not gonna he doesn't intend to settle these cases that he's gonna mm -hmm. he's gonna fight them as long as he can because he wants to clear his name and and uh, look more power to him if that's what he's gonna do it just uh this just doesn't happen when there's nothing going on and i think that that's what i, I i'll always be uncomfortable with when you talk about deshaun watson and what will happen with deshaun watson is what happened with ben roethlisberger sadly is that ben roethlisberger had two different incidents um he was suspended for a little while and the minute he threw about the third or fourth touchdown pass when he came back nobody talked about it anymore that's what's going to happen with deshaun watson and the browns if he starts winning for a team that classically doesn't win people will forget all about it no, I mean, there's still a good contingent of fans that yeah. would bring up the Big Ben stuff, but it just wasn't loud enough for it to really matter. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and plus, when you bring up stuff like that, it's like fans who don't say a single word about Baylor, and all of a sudden, Baylor wins something big, and they want to bring up, oh, the rape scandal. You know, it's like, okay, well, where was that last week? Where was that? You know, why is it all of a sudden after your team loses to them that you want to, you know, bring that up? So I think with Big Ben, it, it became one of those things where there was a – a certain party of people who never let it go. And then a lot of us who just, yeah, just kind of just moved on and, you know, then would hear it brought up after he'd beat the Browns or, you know, and Browns fans would, would say something, but um, it's still, it still lingers just not enough to, to have hurt his career really uh, at all. And, and, you know, he's not the only example of that either. There's, there's plenty of others, but uh, in, in the case of Deshaun Watson, yeah, I'd imagine it'll probably be some, some of the same, you know, there's still the civil suits to clean up. And those will keep it in the news headlines for a while longer. Uh, but he he addressed those, and he said he's not going to back down or give in to you know to settlements. So uh, that still has to play out. But but once that does, and, and I don't know what the time frame is on that. I mean, yeah, he'll he'll basically just be 
a guy who had you know these incidents and put it past him but there will be those who who definitely look at him differently and and maybe always use that against him no matter what he does or does not do the rest of his life and and then there will be a lot of people who just you know kind of move on and you know watch him throw that that pigskin around yeah and and look i i don't think we can I don't know. I, there. I don't know any yeah, of what exactly, happened. Yeah. I mean, I, I you know, I, I tend to uh, at least the, the very bare minimum we can do as people is listen to these women and, and take their allegations seriously and then let the court system do what it does. And that's all we can really do. But uh, yeah, for me to sit there. Yeah, it's very odd. The number of, of allegations and just the situation itself. It does make you scratch your head a little bit that this was even a possibility for him to get into this mess because who has 24, you know, massage therapists or whatever that that's very strange. And I don't know that we'll ever get a, a real explanation for for what was going on there. Uh, but, but yeah, it's, it's a messy deal and, uh, you have to at least be understanding and compassionate, uh, towards these women. But you know, when it comes down to the court of law, if the court of law says Deshaun Watson's, you know, not guilty and he's free to go play football, that's what the court of law says. And then you could feel differently about it. But as far as enforcing anything, I mean, that's, that's the court system. So, you know, that it is what it is in that regard. And he's, he's free to play football. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. That, and that, I hope that if somehow magically there was 24 mysterious allegations that appeared out of thin air, then I hope that's exposed. You know, I hope that that, that's exposed. I, I think it's too often times when there are false allegations against people, uh, we the story just quickly goes away once that's found out. It's like, let's harp on it and harp on it and harp on it. This guy is a POS and he's garbage and rapist and all this stuff. And they find out that maybe the person was lying and then, they just don't talk about the story anymore. <laughs> like it just goes away basically. Uh, so I hope that, you know, in this case, if it does turn out that 24 allegations were all false, that Deshaun Watson gets his redemption and gets his name cleared and all of that. I don't think there's a snowball's chance in hell of that happening anytime soon, or maybe even ever. But, but if it were to, I mean, he does deserve some justice, but uh, you know, uh, on the other hand, if, if he is guilty of, of what he's alleged to have been a part of, then uh, I hope one day that comes out as well. And he pays the price for that. Yeah. The, the interesting thing to me is see how many of these people wanted money and how many of them don't want money. Yeah. Because the ones that don't want money, if they've got, I yeah. mean, that, those are the ones you got to watch because they, well, I mean, you, know, you know, I mean, uh, that's a little complicated too, because I, I don't think, I, I don't know. I mean, I never haven't been in that situation. Yeah. I think it's really hard to say. And I think sometimes, um, you know, that may be a lawyer's advice. That may be a, we don't want you to drag you through this process for another year yeah. or two and, and Hey, go ahead and take the check and just put this behind you and live the best life that you can live. It doesn't make up for what happened, but hopefully it helps ease the pain kind of thing. So I look at it from that perspective as as well. But, yeah, it's it's complicated, obviously. Yeah. All right, uh, Craig, you mentioned uh, Mike Gundy. 